Okay. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. I'm very Hi, fine. Teacher. You? Okay, good. Hello, Rocio. How are you yeah. today? Good. Okay, here we have Liz. Hello, Liz. Okay, good. Now we have William. Hello, William. Hi, good night. Good night, you, teacher. How are you? Yeah, very fine. And you? All right, great. Good to see you all again. I feel okay, nice. Okay, you too. Okay, good. Right, and... Okay, for see you. Can you hear me? No, you don't? Oh, Rocio. Rocio now, can you hear me? Rocio? No. Okay, good. Now we have Moises. <coughs> Hello, Moises. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, hi. Okay. Just a bit late. <laughs> Just a bit late. It's all right. Okay, good. And we have um, also, oh, Gio, Gio is coming in. Okay, good. Now let's get started, warm up. Okay, do you remember what we were studying last night? Yes. Yes? What were we talking about last night? Um, the intensifies. Uh, Intensify intensifies adverbs which are also intensifiers, right? And we had six words, right? Six words yeah. that we use to emphasize, <laughs> correct? Yes. No. yes. Which, which words are those? Mm. Really? Okay, really? Very. Well, extremely, extremely? Very? Very. Uh, early? No. Really? Really? Uh-huh. Yes, Vanessa? Pretty. Pretty. Fairly. Fairly. Very and somewhat. And somewhat. Okay, very good. Okay. So the words are extremely, right? Extremely. Then we also have a very, very, really, right? Really. Pretty. Fairly and somewhat. Okay. So this is, you know, when we have, when we want to give a certain degree of emphasis on something that we want to express, right? Good. So then that's, uh, for example, the, the review. There is a check knowledge, right? Exercise that you have to complete. Did you do it? Vanessa, did you do that exercise? In the platform? Uh -huh, in the platform? Or where? Yes, in the no, platform. No, I don't. Okay, you haven't done it yet. No problem. No yet. Okay, but I'm letting you know today so that for tomorrow, make sure, okay, that every class that we cover, okay, if we already have the topic, you can begin doing the, the check knowledge in the platform, right? So then that you can have more time. And if you have questions, Okay, the in the class the next day about that topic, you know, you can ask me, right? While you are doing the exercise on this platform, you can write the questions that you have and in the night, you know, during this class, so you can ask me questions. All right. Okay. So then for tomorrow, okay. don't forget to to begin working with the technology on your platform, okay? Because I think that uh, by the end of the unit, there would be also a little quiz or something there, okay? So you have to be prepared. Mm -hmm. So make sure you ask questions and that you have all the, the ideas clear about the topic, <coughs> right? Okay. okay, again, yesterday we had those uh, words, and for today, we're going to continue with, uh, let's say, the parts of a speech, you know, like adjective is a part of a speech, Adverb is another part of the speech, and these are also words that we use to intensify, okay, the meaning of something that we want to express. But uh, today we also have 
another part of the speech. Okay, let me show you this one. Okay, wait a minute, we're having a, a little issue here. Okay. Okay, can you see it now? Can you see the screen? No, not teacher. No, no, not yet. Okay. Okay, this one will be able to say it. Okay, now you do? Yes. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right. Now, what is the objective that we have for today? Okay, do you, can you help me read Yeah. Uh, objective for today? Okay. In this oh, station. Wait, wait. Yes, here we go. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. In this session, participants will now identify and use conju conjunctions, conjunctions such as and, but, tough, and however. Perfect. Very good. Okay, very good. So which okay. are the the words that we are going to study today? Is and, and but, but, though, but, and however. But, however. Okay. And who knows what a conjunction is? Ronnie, do you have an idea about it? Uh, I think that is when, when you use uh, an affirmation and negation in the same sentence. Okay, yes. It's, in some cases, you have two, two affirmative sentences. In other cases, you have two negative sentences. But with the con and the con yes, that's correct. And also the conjunctions help you, you know, to put two sentences together, right? Or two clauses together. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, when you or when you want to have um, a list, a list of, uh, for example, of uh, a words that you want to describe something. For example. Uh, my car is big and okay and, and and nice and comfortable and and then you are adding more and more and more right so then you don't have to you have to use this word to put ideas or sentences together but also you can use it in sentences okay so that is a conjunction it helps. for example teacher uh -huh. for example you say I like the ice cream, but I, I am thick. I can eat. Okay, exactly right. I like ice cream, but okay. Then you have to give something which is the opposite, right? Or contrast with that, and I say, but I'm sick today, so I can't eat, you know, ice cream. Okay, Ronnie, don't talk about food at this time. Okay. <laughs> okay, just kidding. <laughs> Okay, good, excellent. <laughs> no good. problem. But it's a good example, it's a good example, right? Okay, what else? Okay. Uh, another example that you can have, you know, about the conjunctions, but, however, or though. Anybody can give an idea. For example, however, any idea with however? No, not yet. No. All right. So then we're going to watch a video, okay, in which uh, we're going to see some other examples. And then I'm going to pause to stop the video at some uh, specific moments so that we can uh, discuss 
can understand better the topic. Okay. Here we go with the video. Teacher, I can hear you. Hello? I can Robin? hear you. You can't? I don't know. You, you don't hear? No. Okay. Gio, can you hear? A little bit. Okay. Good. Hey, let me see. Now? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. However, after the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Okay, just let me check the sound here. I guess everybody can come here. Yeah. It's the max, the maximum. Right. Wait a second. Now, can you hear? Teacher, teacher try yes. to, to put near the speaker of the computer, maybe. Uh -huh. hey, let me see if I can. Maybe your, your microphone near the speaker of the computer. Let me see, let me see because. Better. It's not too big. No? Can you hear it? We used to connect two positive or two negative ideas. Yes, it's better. It's time we'll talk about conjunction. Can you hear now? Yes, then. Okay. Good. Now, here we go again. We'll talk about okay. but, so, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. It's an exciting city. 
city and the weather is nice. But it's not too big. City. It's not too big though. It's not too big, however. We use and to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction and. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before and? That's right. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one as it goes to the middle of a sentence. Una goes before the conjunction as well. Tell me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left. Though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. To connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Okay. Um, were you able to do a little better? Was we hear better? Yeah, a little bit. More yeah. or less. More or less? <laughs> huh? More or less. Okay, good. Well, then uh, you sure make sure that everybody uh, that you don't have also too, too much interference around yours. But right now I hear too much noise. Diego, por favor. I hear those Diego, Diego, por favor, Diego, por favor. Diego, por favor. Déjenme escuchar la clase, por favor. Y a nosotros también. Yes. <laughs> Déjenme escuchar la clase, por favor. Me too. Mami. Okay. Now it's better. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so then uh, let me uh, let me show you again the, the the screen so that we can I can explain a little bit about this. Okay, so this is what we have, right? So the city is ugly and small. This is what I was telling you at the beginning. If you see, there is a, the use of comma, right? And then, okay. in English, not always, not always you're gonna use this comma when you have uh, the two adjectives, right? In some cases, it's when you have two sentences, okay? Two sentences. For example, the city is nice and the weather is nice too. In that case, it's better if you use a comma because you have two sentences, two clauses. Okay, in these cases, usually uh, you have comma. Uh, after you say it's ugly, uh, let's say it's ugly, expensive, hot, then you have comma, comma, and then N, a small. And in this case, you don't use the comma, right? Okay, this is one, one issue. Uh, Canada is a big country and very clean. Okay, let me see here. Yes, which are joined by the conjunction and, or we can give more information. Did you notice which goes before 
Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one. Okay, and this is what Ronnie was saying at the beginning, right? So the park is clean, it's a positive idea, but it is very small with a negative one, right? Okay, so then this is the food. Now, all this is relative, okay? It's relative because a positive idea, and you can say, for example, I like the park of my neighborhood because it's clean and it is very small. Okay, if, if you don't like big places, right? But for example, but if you like, you know, big places because it's very crowded, then you can say the park is clean, but it is very small and many people go there. Okay, in that case, very small can be negative, right? So it depends, it's, it's relative, right? It depends on your intentions, it depends on your likes or dislikes. For example, the food is good. Situation. Uh huh. The food is good, but it is very expensive. Well, but if a person has the money to pay, probably he would say, well, the food is good and the price is reasonable. Expensive. Right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, but in most of the cases, the food is good, but it is very expensive, right? This is when you go to a restaurant or, for example, the, in some supermarkets, the delicatessen, there is some food that is more expensive than others, right? Okay, questions? <laughs> yes, let me see. Moses. Moses. Pupusas. <laughs> the pupusas, right? Yes. For example, teacher, when you say the pupusas are good, uh -huh. para, uh, pero muchos se tardan. Okay, no, no, pupusas, what, what do you say? Okay, yes. <laughs> the pupusas mm -hmm. are good, but they mm -hmm. take too long to serve. Okay, they, they take, take too long, long to serve. Uh -huh. They take too long. For example, <laughs> one hour too long to make. To make. Or yeah. they take too long to make, right? Yes, then this is for example, too long. Take too long. Okay, that is tomar mucho tiempo. Okay, good. Uh huh. Yes. All right, excellent. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, then they, this is something you know. <laughs> it's 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 uh, uh, uh -huh. but, uh -huh. I got a good idea. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what about however and though? However and though have a similar meaning. So, uh, what happens is that you also use it to emphasize, right? To emphasize. Okay, yes. Here we go again. <laughs> Why can I then, what is the, the sound coming in? <laughs> oh we have <laughs> an extra member in the class, but we're <laughs> we have, uh, Okay, now it's better. Be careful. Be yes. careful for the cast. Okay, good. So then, uh, remember that, uh, well, we have this one. I'll show you right now. Here. Okay, here. Okay, so here we have the, the, these two conjunctions, right? We have also to connect positive idea with a negative idea. Then we have, it's a big city. Look, so here we have not too crowded. crowded. So, but, this but, though means but. but. Synonym, similar. But. Okay, but express in a different way. Okay, so that you don't have, you don't say the same way uh, things in English, right? For example, it's a big city, it's not too crowded though. Okay, then the other one here is, 
he is really good looking. Okay, I mean the guy has a good appearance, right? Like you say, she is pretty, pretty uh, she's very pretty. And they say it's not nice. However, are also used to connect a okay. positive idea with a negative. So he has a nice appearance, but what about her personality? Uh, maybe. Creído. Uh -huh, <laughs> maybe, yes, maybe. <laughs> He's kind of cocky, right? He's kind of, you know, stuck up. Mm -hmm. And then he thinks that he's the last of the latest. It's <laughs> the last Pepsi in the, in the desert, right? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So then, yes, yeah, that's, that's what happens, right? So he's very good looking, but he's not, uh, they say, but he's not so nice. He is good looking. He's not so nice, however. Okay. So then this is a way to emphasize when we change words, of position in English, they are usually to give emphasis. For example, if I say, can you read the sentence, please? Okay, and they say, can you please read the sentence, right? So then you see there is more emphasis if I put please at the beginning and when I put it at the end, right? Mm -hmm. Can you read the sentence, okay. please? Right, but if I say, can you please read that sentence? Okay, it's like when you say, can you be quiet, please? Okay, can you please be quiet? So then you are emphasizing at the beginning. Okay, so this is the use of this. Questions in this moment? No questions? No problem? Xiomara, everything is good? Yes, no problem? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Now, I'll show you. Teacher, when yes, sir. you say emphasis in the police, uh, you say with, um, when you, uh, como regaño. Me, it could be, it could be. The VA is on time, you know, to get somebody's attention, right? Uh, it's, not a, it's not something that you are really scolding, right? Like regañando, right? Scolding. It's just uh, scolding. that you want to, to make people, you know, get the idea, all right, of what you want, okay? So then uh, in some cases, it might be, you know, for example, I told you not to do that, okay? The information. Uh-huh. I, I told you to do the homework, okay? I told you to do it last night. I say when you emphasize, but sometimes it's the intonation. In this case, it's just the word. Okay? Okay. Good. Okay, now uh, we have some sentences here, right? You know, using the... Let me see here. Okay. Now, Evelyn, can you read the first sentence, please? The one? Yes, the number one. It was a difficult exam, but I passed it. Okay, it was a difficult exam, right? But I passed it. Okay? So that means that challenge, it was a challenge, but you did it. Okay? Then, uh, Moises, can you read the second one? Sure. Uh, she worked hard and made a lot of money. Okay, she worked hard and made a lot of money. Good, Ronnie. Three, Ronnie. Number three. Hey, Ronnie. Okay, three. Number three. Oh, okay, he looks too serious. But in fact, he's so much fun. Okay, good. So then uh, Evelyn read it. Okay. So they say uh, she, he looks too serious, but in fact, he's so much fun. Right? You know that sometimes people look very serious, right? But when you talk to them, when you give them a chance and, a, and an opportunity, you see that they are very nice, very fun, and you know they, you feel comfortable with them. Okay, Ronnie. Four. Okay, four. Yes. I was again against a new project, 
but I accept it to help. Okay. Sometimes this happens, right? That we are against something, but you know, we, we somewhat, you know, we somehow, right? Uh, accept to help, right? Good. Mm -hmm. William, number five. I experienced it. He was there and wasn't allowed to get in. Okay, I was late and wasn't allowed to get in. When, when, when does this happen? When is this situation? This is when you come late to a place and then you are not permitted. Permitted. You don't have, you don't have permission, right? To go in. So then it says, for example, I, he was late and he, was, he wasn't allowed to get in. Good. Okay, uh, Jorge, number six. Which one? Lemos or me? Uh, Jorge Mendoza, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number six. It was, very, it was very expensive, but I bought it. It was very expensive, expensive but I bought it. Okay. When do we do this? When we see a cell phone, right? <laughs> an, an iPhone. iPhone. And how you see an iPhone, right? <laughs> yes. an iPhone, yes. you, iPhone 11, not the, for a selfie, right? <laughs> okay, there's a uh, iPhone okay. okay, but I bought it, right? And then, uh, what is something, Xiomara, that you buy that is expensive, but I, say, ah, but I bought it? <laughs> Expensive for me. Uh huh. What is something that you say? It's not expensive, but I bought it. Uh, it's expensive. The products of Apple. Okay. All products of Apple. Mm -hmm. uh, MacBook, iPads, iPhones. Okay. It's very expensive. Okay. And then, you would you buy it? it? Would you buy it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. You know, I, I know it's expensive, but sometimes it's. I mean, it's good quality, right? The good quality sometimes we have to pay, right? Good. Uh, number seven. Who's missing? Gio. Have you read? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number seven. Gio. She was very poor, but she never asked for help. Mm -hmm. Okay. She was very poor, but she never asked for help. Right. Different reasons. Okay, but you see, for example, how we are using and and but, right? And and but. Okay, uh, Moises, have you read? No. Who's missing? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you but read? But I can or? read. You can? You can see yes. it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, number eight. Okay. Uh, he wanted to eat sushi for dinner, but he couldn't find a Japanese restaurant. Okay, what do you think about that sentence? She says she wanted to eat sushi for dinner, but she couldn't find a Japanese restaurant. In El Salvador, we can find sushi wherever, right? El Salvador is? Yes. Yeah. Even in the pupuserias, you know, you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they make sushi. <laughs> yeah, they make the crazy, have you heard about the, cra the crazy pupusas? <laughs> they are made of fish. And, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, so they they make all kind of uh, pupusas, right? So you can find yes. sushi pupusas, right? And a new variety. Sushi pupusas. Yes. Uh, now, Carlos, Carlos Rousseau, can you read number nine? Carlos. Yes, Carlos. Can you hear me? Number nine. Okay, Carlos, number nine. Uh, he stopped talking and lit a cigarette. Okay, very good. Okay, he stopped talking and lit a cigarette. Okay, he stopped talking. Okay, and lit a cigarette. No problem. Hmm? What is lit? Lit. Okay. When you have a cigarette, okay, then you use a lighter to make fire. The action is lit in past tense. Okay, in, okay. In present is light. Okay. Okay. For example, okay. I, I don't smoke, right? But okay. uh, suppose I, 
but you know, cigarettes. <laughs> okay. We, we are using in the past. Exactly, that's correct, right? So when you have a cigarette, okay. say, do you have a light for your cigarette? Light. Okay, okay. Say, sure. And then you have a lighter. That is the little uh, instrument that we use for lighting. Okay. Okay. And lit is the past. It's the action. The action of. Okay. Oh, yes, the action in past. Good. Yesenia, can Good. you read number 10? Number 10. Oh. I cannot hear you. I can. Ah, okay. okay. Now, now, now. Yeah. Yes, yes. The number uh, ten. is 10. I wanted to attend the meeting, but couldn't uh, because I was very ill. Very ill. Okay, very what is Ill. Ill? You know the word sick? Sick? For example, when you have to go to the hospital, when do you go to the hospital? I'm sick. When you yes, are sick. sick. Ill ah, okay. is a synonym, but ah, ill okay. sometimes is British English, right? Oh. Okay, oh, and okay. Sick, sick is American English, right? Okay. Okay, in case you go to Europe, to England, now you know that you say ill, okay? Okay. Good. Then, so here we have, we have another case using the commas. Okay, when we have here, when we join those two sentences, I really like using commas and I really like using uh, proper grammar. Okay. And then probably you can see it better now. Yes. yes. Okay. So then you have two sentences one sentence here and one sentence here. Subject, okay, and verb, right? And then you have the adverb. Say, I really like using commas, comma, and I really like using proper grammar. I really like English, and I really like, I really like studying, uh, studying uh, a lot. So you can have two sentences. Okay, and then we have, however, the most common way of using however is the mean, with the meaning of but. This is what I was telling you, right? This usually comes at the beginning of a sentence and is followed by a comma. Or you can put it at the end after the comma, like in the example in the book. Questions in this moment? Okay, nice. Okay, now I want you to think. Okay. Now, I want you to think now, for example, about sentences using do and however. Okay? Think about a sentence and do you have this in your. Wait a minute. Some reactions. Or well, you can use this one, right? When you have your sentence ready, okay? Write a sentence using but and a sentence using however. Okay, and when you are ready, okay, I want to see this the sign, okay? And then I will know that you're ready, and then you tell me your sentence, okay? Ready? First, are you ready, Carlos? No, no, no. No, no, okay. 
question. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Ah, that's good. Very good. <laughs> not, not yet. Okay, that's a good answer. Okay, not yet. <laughs> Ruth, ready? No. Okay, Moses, tell me. What happened, Moses? Yes, Moses? You raise your hand. Yeah, Moses, tell me. Moses, you raise your hand. Oh, yes, here. I see you now. No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, I have a uh, one sentence. Okay, go ahead. With but, uh, I I am sick, but I have to work. Okay, I am sick. This is a very nice one, right? I am sick, but I have to work. This guy is very responsible, right? And this usually happens, right? Every day, sometimes we are sick. We say, I feel bad, but I have to. Okay, I don't have yes. money. I don't have money, but I have to pay my bills. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Another Thank one? You. Okay, Moise Munguilla, got it. Who else? Hey, teacher. Okay, Ronnie, go ahead. Uh, I like play football. I am not a good player, however. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Doesn't matter. Uh, the important thing is that you practice, okay? Okay, can you repeat the sentence that, again? Because it's a good sentence. I, I, like, play, I like play football. Uh -huh. I am not a good player. However. However, okay. <laughs> you hear that? I oh, like sorry. to play football. Football. Okay. I am not, I'm not a good player. player. However. However. Now, the other, the traditional way that we know is I, uh, I like to play football, but I am not a good player, right? But this is, you know, like uh, standard. But now, using, when, for, but when you say... Using for however. <laughs> not yet, that's good. But when you say, I like to play soccer, I am not a good player, however, Sounds more, more caché, right? Sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Another sentence. Who else? No hands? Okay, here, Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa. Go ahead. Oh, Yesenia, Yesenia. Uh, uh, I, I have a question. Uh, however, is like, is similar to but. In this but, case? Uh, uh -huh. But uh, we use the however and the end the sentence. Correct, exactly. And is the meaning is the same. The it's same. like but. Mm -hmm. Okay. If, Sorry, but I I I begin the, the class but late mm -hmm. and I don't I don't understand well is um, is how we use uh, however however in this case in this case Yesenia, we are using it as a synonym of but right mm -hmm. okay the only thing is that we don't use it in the middle of the sentence like you know like but we put it at the end okay and then we have but though and however as three words that are similar with similar meaning of but okay now however when, however has and other when meaning. i use and when i use the the the, the, the both when i use but when i use what, however okay however usually when you want to make a little more emphasis Okay, when you want to emphasize. Okay, for example, you know, I want to use the Ronnie, uh, Ronnie's example because he used that one. He say, I like to play soccer, he said. Okay, 
I like to play soccer. I am not a good player, however. Okay? So this, then you are saying, for example, that, well, I like, if you invite me to play soccer, I can go, but I already told you that I am not good. Okay? It's, it's, not, not, my fault. it's not my fault if we lose. Okay? Yes. <laughs> you, you already know that. Okay? Good. And then, yeah, normally, we usually say, it, okay, but. Okay. okay. Good. Okay, I understand. No. Okay, thank you, Celia, for your question. Okay. Who else? Another example? Another example? Vanessa, you haven't said anything tonight. You're being very quiet. Huh? <laughs> okay, just. Oh, I, I. Okay, there you go. Okay. Mm, uh, it's a big house. Uh, it's not have a yard, however. Okay, it's a big house. Okay, it doesn't have a yard, however. Okay. So yeah. that's a good example too, you know, it's a big country, you know, big house, and no jar. I mean, no, no. okay, it means, yes, it's a good example, right? What else? Okay. El Salvador. <laughs> that happens here, <laughs> yes. Okay, we, what we usually do is we build another room in the backyard, right? <laughs> an extra room. For, for okay. Another. Yes, another, yes, an extra room. Okay, <laughs> who else? Uh, Eddie. Eddie, this is the first time I see you. Huh? How are you, Eddie? Uh, uh, fine, fine. Okay, good. Uh, 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 for example, uh, I am very sad, but I I have to study English right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now you're not so sad. Look, you're smiling. Huh? <laughs> English can be the, the cure for sadness, okay? <laughs> All right, good. Thank you, Eddie. Now, uh, Liz, any sentences? Hello, Liz. No? Hi. Right. Evelyn, Evelyn, do you have a sentence? Okay. Uh, the power the park is beautiful, but yep. it's very small. Okay, the park is beautiful, but it is very small. How can we change that sentence mm -hmm. using do, Gio? The park is beautiful, but it's very small. The same sentence, but using do. The, the park is beautiful, but it is... I get another sentence, but I okay. have no idea. Using do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, I like that t-shirt, uh, however, it only comes in yellow color. Okay, however, it only comes, or it comes only in, comes yellow, in color, yellow color, however, or though. However. Yeah. Okay, good. No, it's the same. William. Mm. I think this, I want to list this sleep right now, but I have some work, homework. Okay, good. I want to sleep right now. I have some homework to do, however. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, uh, who's missing? Rocio? Anybody else? Hello, Rocio? No? Are you there? No. Okay, good. Rocio? Hello. What is for see you? No. Okay, good. For see you. Yes. It's here. For see you not here. Yes, yeah, she's here. Okay, good. Sonia. Do you have a sentence, Sonia? Hello. Yes. Yes. Um, Tell me. I like to buy choose the Nini West. However, it's very expensive. Okay, they are, <laughs> they are, I like to buy shoes at, where? Uh, choose the Nini West. Me, on, oh, Nine West? On nine, nine, nine West? West. Uh -huh, nine, nine West. Nine nine West. West. Okay. okay, Nine West, but they are very expensive. No. They however, are very expensive. however, it's very expensive. However, the store is very, is very expensive, okay? The store mm -hmm. is very expensive, 
however. Okay, you put however at the end. Only that. Okay, and then you are making more emphasis that it's a store that you need a lot of money. Okay. okay. All right, very good. Excellent. Okay, now we have, let me check. And we also have a word. Can you write one sentence using this city? It's not too crowded. It's not too crowded though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. One. But they go at the end of the sentence. Very expensive. We have two conjunctions left. Though and however. These two conjunctions are also as well. Follow me. Okay. But this one connects a positive idea with a negative one. Okay. And it goes in the middle of a sentence. And a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. Uh, big city is not too crowded though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You okay. Now the word two. Okay. What about the word to? When do we use it? When include uh, other, uh -huh, other thing, other person. Uh -huh. For example, this is too expensive. Okay. It's like to, the meaning is like too demasiado. Exactly, right? So this is too expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can have the word, the adverb to, and then you can have an adjective here, okay, or an adverb, okay, to, to emphasize also. If you see that we are only, uh, we have been studying words that we use to emphasize, right? For example, but when, uh -huh. but when the, when you use it uh, uh, before the adjective. Exactly. Uh huh. That's a good. That's a good observation. What happened when we put it at the end? Uh, uh, another meaning. Uh huh. What meaning? También. También. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, that's correct. Okay, very good. So the weather is too too what? Too hot. Too hot. Too, too, too hot. Okay, it could be too hot. Too. To call, okay. Another one. Uh, raining is the raining. Uh, rainy, all right. Uh -huh. okay. So these are words that you can use, right? The one. Uh, which one? That car is two. Fast. Too fast, right? Okay, who was Chumara is the one who drives fast, right? Yes, Chumara. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the car is too fast. What else? The car is too too small, too small, too big, 
expensive. Ajá, too expensive. Okay. Okay, too. Probably. Too. Crowley. Crow. Crowley. Oh, crowd. Yeah, no. no. Um, uh -huh. The car is too crowded. Okay, too many people in the car. Mm -hmm. Okay, six people in a car for four people, mm -hmm. too crowded, right? Exactly. Right? Star. Okay, very good. Okay, so then you have another word. This is another intensifier too. All right. Okay, any questions? No. Okay, good, guys. And when you use the two at the end on the sentence, uh -huh. what is the meaning? Uh, it means, for example, when you agree on something. For example, I like pizza. Who likes pizza? I like, I like pizza too. too. I like, I like pizza too. too. Uh -huh. So we agree. Or me too. Oh, me too. Exactly. That's correct. Uh -huh. so I like pizza. I like pizza too. Or me too. Okay. Or I do too. Okay, so these are words that we use. I need to, uh, uh -huh, Carlos. Uh, the same. <laughs> the same idea? Yes. Okay. For yeah. example, I like for, for, for I example, like soccer. Said, uh -huh. when, when you say the car is fast and smaller too, is that correct? The car is fast and a small too. Uh -huh. Exactly. So then it has the two conditions, right? I'm not a good player too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, when you say negative, Carlos, <laughs> then you say you neither. A bad okay. player. Uh, I am neither. not neither. Uh, I'm, I'm, neither. I'm not yeah. a good player either, right? So then this is another one. This is the negative. Two is for affirmative. Okay. 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 Then for example, when you say I don't like uh, a I don't like uh, let's see uh, what is something that I don't like about, for example, I don't like uh, uh, tennis. Then you say, I don't me either. either. Me, me, me neither. Uh -huh, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Yep. Okay. Oh. You don't say me too because it's negative. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you don't agree. And you agree with me, but in something negative. I don't like tennis. Me neither. Okay. I like tennis. Me too. Affirmative, okay. affirmative. Okay. Positive two and either uh -huh. negative. negative. Okay. Yes. When you say tampoco, right? You're gonna say either. And two is meant to be también. All right. Have a sleep. So you see, those are, I am sleepy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's who is hungry? Who is hungry? Me. Me too. Okay. Me too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Me too. So we are all hungry, right? Um, okay, people. Uh -huh. Any other question? Okay, then uh, please, for tomorrow, do not forget to do the, the check knowledge, right? And if you have any questions tomorrow, uh, we, I will send you some uh, images in the WhatsApp group uh, for you to practice in such and so, right? All the words that we're going to use to emphasize sentences, right? So I will send you some images just for you to to check before the class, okay? And don't worry, if you have questions, then you can uh, send me an email or do a WhatsApp. Uh, yes? Excuse me, I don't have the, 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 link. the address, yes, the link to, for the, the computer for, for a study the, in, in the computer, the lesson. Okay. Only uh, I have platform. the, yes. You, you, don't have access, have... you don't have access to the platform? Uh, no. Okay, just uh, let me let me write your name. So then, Yesenia uh, Menendez, right? Then I will find yes, out yes. and I will let you know. Yes. Okay, but I guess that you should you should send also an email to Inglés Corporativo so that they can help you, and I will also see what I can do for you. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, everybody, have a good night. Remember the homework, right? Okay. okay. Dream. Okay. In English, okay, that's the homework All right. every day. Dream in English, okay. Thank you. Okay, Thank okay. You. have a great night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Yes, Ronnie. I couldn't be. I couldn't be in class yesterday. What's your name? Sorry.
Oh, sorry, Luis. Luis Avellan. Uh, okay, nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you too, yeah. Ronnie. Okay. Practice as much as you can, okay? Hey, you're a good element in the class. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Thank good. You. All right, good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Night. Okay, just Jesenia and in this, right? Yes. Okay, and did they, they didn't send you any information? No? Uh, no, no, no. I, I don't, I know, I, no estuve? I wasn't, I wasn't in class yesterday. I wasn't yesterday, yes. Okay. And because I, I can't connect with the, the Zoom. Okay, you couldn't do it. No problem. Okay, so mm -hmm. then, uh, uh, well, let me see what I can do. And then I will, uh, well, they, they will get in touch with you. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Have a good night. Thanks, you, you too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Beautiful.